ETNU. Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on winning uh, your share of the conference championship in the regular season. Just get your thoughts on the state of the Cougars uh, heading into the championship and maybe specifically what you see uh, in that potential matchup with either Temple or SMU, please. Um, thank you. I um, appreciate the kind words. You know, our team is um, – um, I think that game yesterday was a little bit of an outlier – uh, for both teams, because I, I think the uh, time, daylight saving time, you know, is really a 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, start. I don't know if, um, if our guys have ever um, had to get up and play a game of that magnitude with everything at stake, senior night, national TV, uh, tremendous opponent, Memphis, and having to get going right away. Um I was impressed with Memphis. I know I know Kenny uh, did a great job of having his team ready to play. I thought they were certainly the aggressor early in the game, and then uh, all the missed shots we had. I think it was affecting some other things, but we got that figured out. Came out after halftime, did a much better job. I think in every uh, area, um, I think our player leadership kind of took over and got got us going. But you know, we've all played thirty, thirty-one games and. Um, you know, kids get rejuvenated. I think there's a, 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 an energy about going to a neutral site where all all the conference teams are together, knowing that uh, what's at stake and knowing it's a uh, survival uh, situation. So I'm sure everybody's excited about uh, moving on to the third season. So you have another conference season, conference season, and now, yeah, so, um, uh, post uh, season. And uh, that creates excitement in itself. And uh, I know our kids will be excited to go to Fort Worth and and try to uh, try to win a game. Coach, we'll take questions for Coach Kelvin Sampson, please. Star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. Star one for questions, please. Oh, wait, I'll ask the first one, Coach. I mean, obviously, uh, picked at the top of the league in the in the preseason poll, and I think maybe some people might have been surprised by that, if, if for no other reason than you know the, the class Memphis came in. And, um, how um, uh, how do you feel about the fact that a you were the, the respect that your program has being picked at, the, at that point at the preseason, but then with your guys living up to that and, and fulfilling it with a largely a new team from last year? Well. Losing four starters, I, I knew how hard that was going to be. Um, and I think the uh, losing Armani Brooks um, at the end of May, and not um, it's not losing the player per se, it's, but it's, it's about losing the strengths, the strengths he had versus the weaknesses we have. You know, he's he was our best shooter uh, uh, the year before, and he would have given us a senior leader. Uh, a senior that had all that game experience, um, guy that made 115 threes, and you, know, you just don't take that away and replace it. Um, so, you know, we we had to battle through a lot of that stuff. But I was just, you know, just real happy with the way our kids came along. You know, we're we're um, we're certainly a team that has some uh, holes, but we try to make up for that by being good in uh, other areas. And, um, just real pleased with how hard these kids worked all year. Um, you know, when you add two freshmen and a, uh, a sophomore transfer, and then the guys that were coming back, none of them started. You know, and they all played around 15 to 18 minutes a game, and they and they had to be thrust into different roles, and and that takes time for anybody. And so we just got better and better uh, as the year went along. Once we hit. Um, Mid-January and February, you know, you're basically who you are. You want to keep getting better as a team, but, you know, you're not adding a player. Your, your, the strengths and weaknesses of those players have, uh, have kind of leveled off. You know who you have by that point. Now you have to figure out how to either coach around it or figure out uh, different ways to win. And I think that was a work in progress for, for us all year. Take one final swipe for questions for Coach Sampson. Please, star one on your keypad if you have one. Coach, 
much. Well, thank you for your time this afternoon or this morning, rather, than I look forward to seeing you over in Fort Worth on uh, on Friday. Okay, thank you.